LearnHowToShootGuns.com presents the basics of shooting, the basic stance. Okay, in our last video, we covered actually pulling the weapon and gripping the weapon from the holster. Once you get that part down, well, it's just funny, I, let me apologize, let me go back a little bit. That's one of the facets of actually pulling the gun out and presenting it, shooting it. One of the other facets is actually how you're going to place your body, your feet, and your arms once you've pulled and presented the gun. I've come up, I've drawn my weapon, I've got it to my side, I've got it in front of me, I've decided which direction I'm pointing it, I'm going to present it forward. At this point, I'm going to get a good base for the shooting. The reason being is I want to be stable because I don't know what I'm standing on. I could be standing on any ground, I could be standing on gravel, uh, I could be standing on a wet sidewalk. I don't want to fall down. Also, I'm going to be able to take the recoil of the gun from, from, from my body. Depending on the gun, especially higher calibers, many of them have a pretty good recoil. And if you're not prepared to accept the recoil, you throw yourself off balance. It's hard to follow up with an accurate shot, and you make yourself vulnerable also to possibly being knocked down and having your gun taken away from you because you're not, um, you don't have a good grip on it, don't have a good base to make it stable. It's very similar to the foundation of a house. You need a solid foundation to be able to do anything. Good point. My personal preference, there are many variations on this, and I think this is something you'll do with a little bit of practice. Everybody does a little bit different. But basically, you want your feet, give or take, shoulder width apart. Some people prefer a little bit forward. I'm left-handed. Some people put their right foot forward. I've seen some people put their left foot forward. I wish you know what I don't Almost prefer. like a boxer stance. I personally prefer just about even. Goes right down my hips and down my side to the ground. Makes me very stable. I can bend my knees. If I gotta run, I can turn and twist quickly. If I gotta go backwards, I can go backwards. If I have to go forward, I can go forward. Very easy position to move from. Also helps me take the recoil of the gun because I'm well balanced. The guns out here, I personally lean a little bit forward. The reason I lean a little bit forward is once again for that recoil. Now, no, now when I see lean forward, I'm leaning forward this much. I'm not way out here. I'm certainly not leaning back. I'm basically leaning so that if somebody gave me a little bit of a shove, or I could say a little bit of recoil, Josh, give me just a little bit of a push. I can take it. Even if I had to step back, I'm right there. It's not a problem. Recoil the gun. Boom. Okay, not a problem. I'm on something slippery. Okay, not a problem. I'm leaning forward. My body is ready to take that blow or recoil. When I extend my arms, I'm going to do it from the side. When I extend my arms, I extend my arms up to almost full length. Two variations of this. Some people full full length. Reason being is these bones lock in. The joint locks in. It locks in the shoulder, gives that little extra for the recoil. It, your whole upper body recoils is almost like an it, assembly. It basically takes push the shot all through your body, helps take the push. So you've got 200 pounds leaning into this instead of just your tiny little wrist muscles. I personally bend my elbows just a little bit unless I'm firing a very heavy caliber gun. For me, this seems to take the recoil a little bit better. And when I say for me a little bit, I'm talking, there's full presentation, there's a little bit. There's still a little it's bit of very, slack out of that. And for me, that works well. Once again, that'll be based on you, your frame, your preferences. This is just a variation. Some prefer like that, some like this. Some of you, you know, maybe lean back and forth a little bit. I'm just giving you the basics to start from, and with your practice, you'll decide which method works best for you. Again, once you've done this a few hundred times, something's going to feel very natural to you. Your body, your body will get used to the position. Your body will automatically take that position. And you'll, that'll be the one that you feel most comfortable in, and in that most comfort, shoot the best. Very good.